Hello, welcome to Not Dead Yet's Album Swap. I'm Dan. I'm Lee. Um, we're going to talk about a feature we do where, you know, each week we recommend an album to each other. Yeah. And then we have to go away and listen to it and uh, come back and hopefully like it, but maybe not. Yes. So last time we were on, Lee, you gave me uh, Rain Dogs by Tom Waits. And I gave you um, 12 Dreams of Dr. Sardonicus by Spirit. Yes. Go on then. Do you want me to go first? Yeah, you can go first. Actually, no, do you know what? I'm going to go did. first. But interesting, yeah, you said you'd been li- you, your mum had listened to Tom Waits and you yeah. wasn't particularly thrilled about... No, um, and I have to say, I found this album awful. Really? Yeah. Um, okay. In, in, in parts, okay. really good. There are a couple of tracks that I really, really liked. Right, okay. So I think like the second or third track, I think it's like Clap Hands or something. Yeah. Really, yeah. really like that. But that opening track, Singapore, Singapore. I think it is... That made me angry. Really? It's like a fucking musical. And yeah, 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 yeah. yeah you yeah. and I have discussed yeah. this before. My least favourite form of music is musical. Right, okay. And yeah, this yeah. sounded like something like a Danny Elfman, you know, right, like okay. Nightmare Before Christmas, which Nightmare Before Christmas, I would love if it didn't have those fucking songs <laughs> in it. Yeah, I mean... And and so this album is peppered with that style and I find that (laughs) teeth-grindingly unbearable. So so what's a a really good... I mean, obviously the timing of the choice as well is really great you've had two weeks to listen to. Yes, exactly, yeah. And every time... Do you know what? I think if they hadn't... If he hadn't put Singapore first, then maybe it would have got a fairer crack. But putting that song first <laughs> means that I start that album and going, wait. oh my God. Yeah. I have to listen yeah, to this. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. So I, I, I found I found it. And it, but having said that, I'm intrigued to investigate his other music. Okay. Because I'm assuming he doesn't own it. This felt like a concept. Well, I mean, I, I'm not I mean, I only own like two Tom Waits albums I mean I really like this I mean like, like stuff like Downtown Train which is a yeah. gravelly voice ballady sort of thing but that's part of a trilogy okay. of, of the album before and after now I've not listened to either of those so okay, I, right, I right. can't really kind of comment on yeah. those but I think the, the whole the concept of of um, of uh, Rain Dogs is about kind of like um, I think it's kind of like just, just the people the urban nights of, of, of New York, okay, and a bit, 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 bit down and out sort of thing. I think it's that sort of. It made me feel themes. like I was listening to fucking sea shanties. <laughs> I was kind of <laughs> optimistic when you said I, oh, and I was like, because I really like, I really like that album. I don't know inside out, but I yeah. do really like it. Um, but that's the thing, like when but, it, when yeah. it wasn't sounding like show tunes, then I was like, oh, that's quite interesting. Yeah. Um, and, and also, do you think Ben what's his face from Gomez? Is a Tom Waits fan. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Because yeah, yeah. His, yeah, his voice is remarkably yeah. and stylistically very similar to yeah. Tom Waits. I was listening to the voice and thinking, why does this sound yeah. familiar? This sounds like someone. And then I was like, oh, it's Gomez. Yeah, yeah okay. Bit, I can imagine, I, I don't know, but I can yeah. imagine he would be a fan. Yeah, um, um, so, so yeah, where he wasn't doing show tunes, <laughs> I was quite intrigued and okay. interested. But every time one of those fuckers came on, <laughs> It literally made me live it. I love how angry you are. Uh, no, because I, I properly detest that music. Yeah. I like I really hate it. It's just so <laughs> awful. And so that's the thing. Like I'd give it a few days and then think, I'll go and listen to it again. Yeah. And first track on, it's like I'm in some kind of fucking pirate cartoon <laughs> musical. Oh my god, it just made me very, very angry every time. <laughs> and then clap hands had come on and I think well, this is quite interesting. And then the next one is like another fucking sea jig. <laughs> oh, my God. I think on that note, I think Keith Richards appears quite a lot on it as well. Oh, uh, really? Both guitar and backing vocals. Okay, yeah. I mean, it's... I think if I... I could probably go through... And you know, you like, you've often talked about taking albums, uh, songs from some of the albums yeah. I've recommended and then getting to know those songs yeah. in isolation. Yeah. I think I could probably strip out maybe two-thirds of that album and probably have something left that I quite enjoy. Yeah. But every time it goes back to that... <laughs> awful, awful shite. It's a uh, 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 thing. Yeah, exactly. Yeah, yeah. Do you know, like, um, it really did feel like the nightmare before Christmas. I see what you said. I'd never really thought of it like that. And I, it, it, it can, I guess, it can be some sort of like an urban musical. Fuck me, it's terrible. <laughs> it's, it's, it's hilarious. So, how much you hate it? So awful. I, I properly, <laughs> properly didn't enjoy that at all. <laughs> and I really, really did try and give it a fair crack. But this is what I say, like. 
this is one of the things you should know about me. Yeah, yeah. is that I cannot stand show tunes. <laughs> they make me angry. And so uh, the uh, you know <laughs> suggestion for this this week, the Rocky Horror Picture Show, would not be a good. That one. would not be a good idea. No, <laughs> no, I would I would struggle with that. Yeah, um, yeah. It's it, and so like it, it, a track would come on that isn't show tune esque, yeah. and I think, oh, there's something yeah. there. And then they'd undo it again. So yeah. I was constantly, it was like a roller coaster of yeah. rage for me. <laughs> yeah. So, okay, I can take a breath now. I can take yeah, a breath. Exactly. <laughs> yeah, exactly. It really, it really was like that. And now I kind of got, in a small microcosm, how like a month in the life of the Hulk feels. <laughs> 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 so, um, so, so that is a big, big no for big me. No. But having uh, said that, I'm still intrigued to go, I will go and listen to other Tom Waits stuff now because the stuff that wasn't that was interesting you know, in terms of um, the sound, the arrangements, and his voice is quite pleasing. Yeah. But it's just that stuff just made me I think annoyed. Like, I mean, as I said, I've not listened to loads of Tom Waits. Um, I said, I've got, you know, I've got his Blue Valentine, which is a Monk Ballady. Uh, yeah. But um, it, it's more like the gravelly voice, sort of like. Yeah, no, that's cool. I didn't mind that at all. Room, yeah. Dirty, bluesy, yeah. ballady sort of that thing. That stuff, yeah, really didn't have that much of a problem with. Not particularly my cup of tea, but interesting. Mm. But yeah, like I say, just. Just going up and down Absolutely between not. rage, yeah. <laughs> so um, no, that that is a definite no for me. Right. So okay. Uh, okay so how did you get on? Um, I never heard of Spirit before. Like I usually like I know at least names of a lot of these yeah. so, uh, 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 classic rock type bands. Mm-hmm. I wish I had that a matter of an opinion. Okay. Like, really. I I at first listen. I was a bit meh. right, and then I've listened to it quite a bit. Yeah. I'd probably say I've listened to it. Eight times. Okay, that's quite. So like, yeah, I, you know, like we've had yeah. quite a you know yeah, period yeah. of time, uh, and and I'm just admit each listen, I liked it more. Yeah, like it was never like I never like at any point disliked it. Mm-hmm. Um, I, I thought it was good, and then the more I listened to it, the more I kind of got out of it, and like it kind of like it's a real mix of styles. Like, yeah, no, there's the a first, lot going on there. Yeah, yeah. so I mean, I think because I had a chance to listen because at time I've had a chance to listen to it quite a lot, mm. and I, I think the open track kind of like nothing to hide. Mm. It very remind me of very like glam Bowie. Yeah. Yep. Like really, and yeah, I was yeah. like, okay. Like once I kind of like nailed that reference point, I was like, okay, this is interesting. Mm. I then like stuff like Animal Zoo was like kind of country rock, yeah. but um, like I not 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 like like, like Creedence, but like you know America. Yeah, yeah, I know, I know yeah, yeah. You know, and then like there was some jazzy moments. Yeah. Um. So like, I I kind of enjoyed it. I I think like it's an album that I'm not necessarily going to go go back and listen to. I will yeah. probably forget about. Yeah. But when I do go back over my my, my playlist, yeah, yeah. I'll go, oh, I think I like that one. I'll listen to it and I'll go, oh yeah, I really mm. enjoyed that. So I enjoyed it. It didn't, you know, like make me excited. It didn't make me want to turn it off. Yeah. But each listen, I liked it more. Yeah. So, so I think that's kind of, I mean, I have no idea. I mean, they sound silly, but there's lots of like kind of, towards the end of the album, there's like synths I can know. Is, is there or have I just completely made that up? Uh, maybe, yeah. I'm not not too I'm not sure, sure about if they would have that. Had that. Yeah, yeah. I'm not sure um, about that. Yeah. But um, no, I enjoyed it. Like, and it was a nice listen. Yeah. Um, I, I liked the fact it was varied. I mean, yeah. I'd imagine it's one of those bands that had uh, that kind of like also had members of other bands, or the, these members were in other bands. I, I don't. I'm know. not too sure. I don't think so. I think they were, and they, I believe they were quite big in yeah. the states. I think they're quite. You know, there's a lot of bands that in America that make it huge in America like, that you might never hear of here. It's like Rush. I've got, yeah, yeah, exactly. That's you know, they're a huge thing. band in the States, but they're not really anything here. Yeah. Um, so that album for me, um, it's both of my parents love that album. I, there's lots. It's and so really I grew nice. up listening yeah. to that album, basically. And so I like the whole yeah. album, but there's a couple of tracks on there that I absolutely adore. and what Because ones? they're absolutely beautiful, musically beautiful. Yeah. So there's a track on there called Why Can't I Be Free? Which right. is only so like a minute and a half long or something. So on here. Um, and then the other one is Soldier. Right. Which is just Definitely. amazing. I know like where they are in the album, yeah. as opposed to necessarily all the track names. Yeah. Um, but I did I did enjoy it, you know, like I thought like Age Listen, like Nature's Why I liked, Animal Zoo I liked. Yeah. Um I kind of Mr. Skin was the one I think I found like there's that yeah, a bit that's jazzy. A difficult that one, yeah. It's a bit jazzy, you yeah, know. Yeah, so why can't I be free? There and then Soldier is towards the end. Yeah, yeah it was it was good. I enjoyed it, and yeah. with each listen, I enjoyed it. It's not, you know, making me do cartwheels, but I think it's something that I won't necessarily actively investigate. Yeah, but that's fair enough. Yeah, I enjoyed listening to it, and I probably will listen to it again and enjoy it 
Um, I, 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 there were particularly a few tracks I really liked. Mm. Um, but um, yeah, it's it's pleasing, a pleasing listen yeah, 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 without yeah. kind yeah. of like being like um, you know. I thought after like the like it's maybe the fifth time I listened to it, I thought oh, I think I'm really gonna get into this. Yeah. And I just gradually liked it a little bit more. Okay, right. Which is, yeah, I yeah. think that's, uh, no, I that's, think that's not a good bad thing. though. Yeah, that's that's yeah, fine. Yeah. The band I never heard of, yeah. and album I was a bit unbothered with at first, yeah. and then like it was like in this little. Did, did you yeah, but I think to that I, to be honest, I think that's how it's gone for me. That mm. album, like I heard it a lot as a child. That album cover terrified me as a child. I can't even remember what the album cover looked like. I no, I mean you probably can't really see it properly there. Um, oh yeah I can imagine that being quite scary yeah actually. and the inside cover has got more of that kind of photography where it <laughs> yeah. looks like you're actually on acid and yeah. that absolutely terrifies oh, me like stretched that, heads and that stuff. dude there with the red head yeah. he really scared me and this dude <laughs> whose eyes have stretched to being about a foot high um, scared me a lot as a child so so that I've had the same experience mm. with that album and I think also um, LP sampled one of the tracks on there. Oh, really? For another band that he was producing. And I really liked that track. And when I looked up where the sample came from, I was like, oh, shit, that's yeah. the album that I've heard a lot since I was a child. So then I went and got a copy for myself mm. and um, listened to it. And like you, it's grown on me over yeah. time. Like, I'll come back to it every so often and I'll listen to it again. I think, oh, actually, I do really like that. Yeah, yeah. that's exactly yeah. I mean, It's the sort of thing that like, I'm not going to go out of my way to, to buy, yeah. but... I like going to charity shops and rifling through the record collection. Yeah, exactly. Yeah, and if I saw it, yeah. a couple of quid, I would buy it. Yeah, yeah, like that, yeah. That no, sort that's of thing, enough, you know? isn't it? Um, yeah. But I think it's like a, you know, like a win. It's yeah. a win. Okay. But like, it's just a. Yeah. Yeah. So, so that is um, that's a, a victory for me then this week. Right. So and ha- a resounding victory for me because I hated your recommendation. Yeah. So how? So we're going to do this new thing. <clears throat> yeah, we're going to try and do a scoring yeah. system. So I think when we need to work out the finer points on it, but basically this week you kind of liked it yeah. and I hated what you gave me, which means that I win. You win because you recommended an album that I like. Yeah, exactly. That's right. It. Yeah. So okay, I think that's yeah. how it's going to work. So yeah. if we both okay. like it, then that's a draw. Yeah. You know, if we both hate it, that's a draw. But if we get one liked it and the other one hated it, then that's a win yeah. for the one that rec- recommended the one that was liked. Yeah. Yeah, I think so. You so win. that's that's a win for me. Right, so, right. Um, what have you got for me next week, Mr. Um, Lee? Uh, I was... Uh, Were you actually going to give me the Rocky Horror Picture Show? <laughs> well, actually, no. <laughs> um, I know you did, did throw me out the window if I gave you that. <laughs> fucking right. Um, we are one story up as well, so that's going to hurt. Yeah, <laughs> it'd just be a massive thud. Went, Ow! <laughs> um, I'm going to go... The, the new pornographers. Hmm... Do you know them? No. Uh, Mass Romantic. What's it called? Mass Romantic. Mass Romantic. Yeah. There's, there was another album that I'll say, maybe say for another time, but I just thought, I feel like after you hating Tom Waits so much, yeah. I, I think that's what he's called. Yeah, Mass Romantic. Okay. Okay. Uh, and I put in all of five minutes thought before you turned up this morning <laughs> um, because I'd forgotten to do it and so I was thinking of saving this because obviously you know that I'm basically grooming you for jazz for jazz hip hop essentially yep. Yep. and so I was saving this for much further down the right. road so you're probably not going to like this which means that you'll be redressing the score next week <laughs> um, but I am going to give you um, Beyond the Sea by Monster Rally uh, okay I've seen you be listening to Monster Rally this week. Yeah. Um, so, yeah, you're going to have that. And I I love that album. So, yeah, yeah. we will see. I'm, I'm Mainly, you, that has been picked and brought forward by many years. Right. <laughs> because okay. um, of the weather has been quite sunny this week. And right. I think this is a, a reasonably good album for that. We'll see about that. We, we, we'll, we'll see, see about, about that. that. So, um, <laughs> you can follow us on... Uh, at Hello Not Dead Yet, so if you've got any albums you think we should listen to yep. or swap with each other, send yeah. them in. Um, and also, like, if you, you know, you have an opinion on the albums we've talked about. Yeah, yeah, let us you know, know what you think of the albums, and you should try and play along with us as well. Um, Facebook is Hello Not Dead Yet. Yeah, email Hello Not Dead Yet at gmail.com. Spotify, we have Spotify playlists, uh, we do monthly ones, which is uh, Hello Not Dead Yet with underscores in between each word. And uh, Insta, Hello Not Dead Yet. With underscores. With the underscores, yeah. yeah. So, um, yeah. Uh, I can't think of anything else to say. Can no, you? Okay, no. well, that's it then. All right, see you next time. Bye. Bye.